Hello there Monsters and Men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging. It is a lovely winter's day after Christmas, and today I'm going to try to answer the question that every Kona EV driver has. What is the range of this car when you actually drive top speed? We are at a parking lot in Germany, we are charging as you can see. I'm charging the car to 90 to 100%, and after that we're going to hammer it. I hope the traffic is quiet enough that we can actually hammer it. It is now around a quarter past ten, so I think we can manage it. So what are my expectations? Well, not a lot to be honest, because when I drove to this parking lot, that is around 230 kilometers from my house, the car actually used a lot of energy. And that's probably is because it's cold. And it's now, well, for the Netherlands slash Germany, it's cold. It's now around three degrees Celsius. So we will see what it, what it does. But I expect not more than 100 kilometers of range when it drives to top speed, maybe even less, but we will see. Now we're here anyway, let's have a brief moment to appreciate this parking lot and the charging facilities because a lot of countries can learn from this. <coughs> Belgium, <coughs> France. There are two superchargers, there are 450 kilowatt chargers and there are actually Tesla superchargers behind me. So it's great, please, all the countries do this. We need this. I'm going to do something that I normally never do. I'm going to put the car in sports mode. Hopefully you can see the speedometer then. The car estimates right now 303 kilometers of range, but I doubt it. I doubt that we will actually make that. It's also four degrees Celsius at the moment. We gotta go straight ahead because there is the Autobahn. And let's do it, let's hammer it. So uh, again, I hope it's quiet so we can actually reach the maximum speed that we want. The car is charged to 92%. And we'll see. Shh. I gotta reset the trip meter though. Oh damn. Hold okay. To reset. Yes, it's reset now, so that's good. We cannot uh, we cannot pass this guy at the moment. But after this we will hammer it. Damn the Germans are driving quite slow at the moment. Come on man, put some gas in it. Come on, get away man. I'm a little bit nervous to be honest because I gotta look at the range and when I have to turn back, otherwise we won't make it to the charger and that would be terrible. I'm currently doing 177. I thought the car could do more, could do less. I thought the top speed was actually 165. But we are hammering it and everything is going okay. We just go with the flow. It's okay, 178. Man, the car has a faster top speed than I actually thought it would have. That's amazing. And of course, it's the Autobahn, it's only two ways, so we have to slow down. But as soon as we have to accelerate, we compensate for the slowing down, in my opinion. And this is, this is why I wanted to do it early, because as you can see, it's already quite busy. And we can't really do the top speed properly. But hopefully we can at least keep 150 plus. Let's hammer it again, and let's go. Let's drain that battery. We're slowing down again. This is not going how I want it to go. I want to drive fast and quick and fly high through the sky. Come on, BMW, do it. All right, a little status update. We have currently driven 25 kilometers. We have used only 10% of range, 11 actually. It surprises me, it's a lot less than I thought it would be. Um, but we've hit the famous German roadworks. Yeah, so we have to drive slowly. That is a bummer. Again, this is not a scientific test, but <laughs> it is fun to do anyway. But these things do happen, which is unfortunate. We have done 50 kilometers now and we have used actually um, 20 percent of range 21 percent to be exact that's not too bad we're still hammering 177 kilometers an hour everything is fine there's no roadworks anymore um, the road is quiet we we are continuing like crazy i love it it is going down more quickly now it looks like it the percentages so we will see Okay, something is happening because first it was 25 kilometers 
for 10% of battery capacity and now it's only 15 kilometers for 10% of battery capacity. So it is going to, it's using a lot more now. So I think it's time that at the next exit, we turn around. So we make our way back to the charger again, uh, just in case, because I don't want to run out somewhere where I don't know there is a charger. And then we can loop around over there if we have still plenty of range left. So it's time for an Ausfahrt, yeah. So it should be around here. Can I turn around? I don't know, actually. Let's have a look. Should be able to, right? Otherwise it's shitty. It's shitty for me. Because then I don't know how to get to the freaking highway again. All right, let's have a little look over here. Yes, probably to the left. You're doing well, car. You're doing well. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Good going. Good going. Power. Deplete as much battery to compensate for the slowing down. I'm sorry, car. I'm going to the right. Oh, there's actually an old Lada. Oh my god, you don't see those often anymore. All right, we have done 74 kilometers and we have used, uh, let's do the math, 20, no, 35 kilometers, 35 percentage of range. So now it's time for power again. 100, 120, 140, found 50, 160, 170, 177, we are at, we are at top speed. All right, we're reaching 100 kilometers. At least we have driven 100 kilometers. Um, I gotta be honest, the last few kilometers, 10, the last 10 to 15 kilometers have been less ideal because it's getting more busy. So everyone drives a little bit slower. I've been cruising around 150, 160 kilometers an hour instead of 100 and 77. Things are good, all the slow pokes are to the right or they are gone, I don't know where they are, but we're cruising 177 again. Yeah, oh crap. The road works in four kilometers, oh jeez. But if you wanna know, we've driven 108 kilometers and we're currently at 37% of battery capacity remaining. Good news, the road works are done. It's time for the last stretch. We have 33% of battery to, to consume still, but we do have a little while, a little, a few kilometers until we are at the charging station again. So hopefully everyone is out of my way. All right, the party is over. It's time for the final exit. We are currently at 12%. That's still quite some, so we could still drive probably 15 kilometers, something like that. But again, I don't know where the exits are exactly and where all the charges are, so we're going to... <laughs> I'm going to take it safe. It's a shame that the traffic was not optimal, of course. It was a little bit busier than I expected it to be. Because I expected, well, the Friday after Christmas, not a lot of people on the road. Yeah, there still were. There were a lot more than I thought, actually, and that's a shame. So that... It gives a little bit of an other result, but... It's fine, we will handle that. Okay, let's get back to the chargers. There are actually a lot of Teslas now at the moment. Holy crap. Hopefully my charger is not occupied. No, it's not because of course there are only Teslas and most of them are Dutch. What a surprise. So we are back at the charger. The traffic wasn't as quiet as I hoped it to be the Friday after Christmas, but we had to deal with that. I have hammered it as much as I could. And we've actually driven 158 kilometers uh, th this trip. In that 158 kilometers, we actually used 80% of battery capacity. So if you do the math then, it means that the range when driving top speed from zero to 100 is actually 196 kilometers. That's actually quite a lot. That's a lot more than I expected it to be, to be honest. Um, of course, we can easily subtract like 40 kilometers of that, in my opinion. And that's because we had the roadworks, we had to drive a little bit slower. But then still, the range when driving top speed in winter is 150 to 160 kilometers. I mean, that's 
quite a lot. There's a lot more than I expected. Ho oh there, I have to stop myself here for a minute because after some thinking, I think the reason why the car used more energy in the morning than when it did when it did the run is because in the morning when I went to the charger, the battery was still cold. Then I arrived at the charger, I charged, that warms up the battery to about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. After that I did the run with a warm battery and because of that it uses less energy because the battery is already warm. So that means the range that I have experienced right now is actually the range that you will get in summer. And when you do this with a cold battery in winter or not after charging, the range will actually be less. And in summer it will be even more, not a whole lot of course, maybe 20 kilometers, but still. I'm impressed, I'm very impressed. So there you have it folks. Top speed, uh, range when you drive top speed, 160 kilometers, question answered. So if you liked this video, please give a like and subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now as always, thank you a lot for watching and to be continued.